Revolution golfers and Golf Pass members are with my friend Austin Hughes. Austin Hughes is one of the really talented mini tour players we have that practices with the Tour Striker coaches here at the Raven in Phoenix. And I know many of you are trying to break 90 for the first time. Some of you broke 90, some of you are trying to fight to get back down there. Well, we want to talk about the flop shot or just the soft shot around the green. Now, it's the last shot you're going to pick in your hierarchy of shots. I take you through putt when you can putt, when you can't putt chip, when you can't chip pitch, when you can't pitch flop. Now, we got a really good player right here. So let's hit a couple little softies and let's explain some of these things. So feather one up there for us, Austin. Let's see what you got. We've got a firm green, we've got about 12 yards of carry. You can play this a variety of ways, but for the purposes of this shot, okay, very nice. So he had a nice shot up there and he's got about a four footer, really, really good. Now, come on in here and tell me what you're feeling. Well, what part of the club are you using to hit this shot? I'm trying to avoid using the leaning edge of the club and more of the back end. Absolutely. Club. So you're, you're doing a great job. You hit a little softy there. And through impact, Revolution Golfers, you can see that he didn't roll this face over. He kind of held the face off. In fact, guess what I'm looking at? I'm looking at the loft. Post impact, as he hits this, the club's passing the bottom and the loft staying on the face. Now, you've watched a ton of my videos. In fact, I think I've got over 450 now for you Golf Pass members and Revolution Golfers over the years to watch. And most of the time, we're talking about a flat left wrist, a striker's position to really compress the golf ball. Right. But here, we're trying to take some speed off, aren't we? Absolutely. Yeah, give us another one. Give us another softy. Narrow stance. He's got his loft on there. He hits a really soft, spinny shot. Now, that was exceptional, and that's why he's a really talented player. These aren't coming out hard and fast. He's pacing and facing. He's got some loft on here. He's putting in some, a little bit of speed that he thinks he needs. He's pacing and facing that speed, letting the golf ball get collected. But most importantly, this, tr this sole is skipping along, riding along the grass. In fact, he's touching the grass fractionally before the ball because he knows that tool is not going to dig. It's going to skid. He trusts that. It skids. The ball comes out soft. It's got some spin. And that's a really playable shot now. For you trying to break 90, I wouldn't say try that shot right away. Got to get some reps in, isn't that fair to say? Absolutely. And I would say practicing, avoiding using that leaning edge and digging into the ground will definitely help you be able to release that club more. Yeah, to hit that softy. We see a lot of the newer golfers, they have one shot in mind. They always put the ball back, they put the handle forward, and now all of a sudden this radius gets in a place where it really wants to dig. Austin hit those lovely shots, as you saw earlier, narrow stance, handle, handle kind of neutral, club head passing as he's pacing, keeping loft on the face. So Austin Hughes, hey, a Canadian, much. but you're from the wrong side of Canada. I'm from the other side. Yeah, you're from the West Coast. I'm from the good side. <laughs> <laughs> so Revolution Golfers and Golf Pass members, all these tips, all this great stuff is included. Well, for the Golf Pass members, it's included. You can watch over two hours of content on if you broke 90, how to get back there. And if you've never broken 90, how to do it. And this little softy around the greens, how to score, it's in there as well. So post those questions and comments down below, and I'll answer as many as I can. Thanks for watching.